I want to talk to you about loneliness. I know not the most exciting topic, but the reason we have to talk about loneliness is because it is today's pandemic, something that is affecting most everyone around the world. And why is that? Because the way our societies have evolved, especially with technology, it's making us more lonely. Why is loneliness a problem? Because things associated with loneliness are like depression, unhappiness, things like that. And I started to notice this loneliness trend recently. For example, you tend to think of females as very social creatures. They get along with one another. They love talking to one another. They make friends easily. They talk a lot more than men. All of the science and data indicates that. But even today, women are having trouble making friends. They use Bumble, a mobile app that was originally designed for dating, to meet other women to make friends. Well, why would they need to do that? If you've went through university and graduated from college and you went into the working world, if you're working remotely, well, you're likely to be lonely because you're working independently at home by yourself. And then, you know, we used to go out to the gym, but now you get the Peloton bike, you bring it in your house, you have the treadmill at home, so you don't go out to the gym, you just stay home and you get your exercise on from home. Then you would go to the grocery store, except you used Instacart or Amazon grocery, and they delivered the groceries straight to your home. You would go out to send a birthday card or something to your mom or whomever, but you can actually just drop that in the mail slot. You don't need to go anywhere. You would go out to dinner, but you can just use Uber Eats and they'll bring the food to you so you don't have to bother going out in the public. Wow, you're starting to notice that all of the services are getting to a level of convenience to where it's really just isolating you from the rest of humankind, which is a problem. It causes you to live in an unnatural way, to be addicted to the internet in the form of the computer or the phone, because it's the closest thing you can get to human connection. And human connection is very natural. The importance of touch of looking at someone in person and making eye contact and feeling intimate and closer to that person, whether it's romantically or friendship wise. So we're in a society that has so much disconnection. And especially if you're in one of the wealthier societies, the bonds that you would have had between your friends and family are actually breaking down because you rely on them less. If you're in a wealthy country, say like myself, and I go travel to Manhattan for a business meeting, in the past, I might have called up a buddy of mine who lives in Manhattan and said, hey, David, would you pick me up from the airport? I got a few meetings to attend. Save me a couple bucks on a taxi. He picks me up. We get a chance to catch up. Maybe we go have coffee or have a meal. But now I don't need to call my friend because I don't want to inconvenience him. I can just call an Uber because it's so convenient. And all of these different pieces of technology and the way the society is supposedly evolving are causing us to rely less on our kinship, rely less on our friends, and we become increasingly disconnected because everything we would have gone outside to do, we can do from the privacy of our own home. We don't have to go to the library, we can get the ebook. And when you really think about it, when you go outside and engage in the real world, you have the opportunity for what I call collisions, meaning, engaging other people through serendipity, through accident, by chance. It's very rare now that you just bump into a woman out in the mall or somewhere out in the public and you guys hit it off. No, you got to be on a phone swiping like that and that's how you met her. Well, that's not an exciting story when you're at dinner. People say, oh, hey, how'd you guys meet? It's really unfortunate. So I make this video to encourage you to actually get out in the world because you're probably sitting at home suffering from loneliness, whether you acknowledge it or not. Especially if you're successful, if you're an introvert, a lot of high IQ people tend to be more introverted, but regardless, if you're successful, birds of a feather flock together. There are not a ton of successful people, so you're more likely to be isolated. If you have high IQ, you're more likely to be isolated. So you have to find ways to be intentional about going out putting yourself in position where you can engage with other people because, hey, it's natural and it's also necessary for your life enjoyment, for you having the feelings of warmth and connection with other human beings. Because you might say, you know, hey, I'm successful. I got my own car. I live on my own off my own flat or apartment or home. 
But if you live alone because you're single or not married, then you're probably really lonely. And you might call that success, but being alone and by yourself is not success because it doesn't lead to happiness. Sometimes things that might seem like a curse might be a blessing. If you still live with your family, that might be a good thing. You have a good group of people who are close who can support you emotionally, uh, psychologically, and otherwise. So I want to encourage you all to go out, join the gym, actually show up at the gym, join classes, whether they're salsa dancing classes, learning a new language, what have you. Get out in the world and do things. One thing that we have coming up uh, the weekend of January 29th is our conference for the Sassin. And we invite you all to come because it will be a remarkable time of connecting with like-minded, high-achieving people who are focused on growing their relationships, growing their finances. We're going to have time to learn and also time to enjoy in the evening in Las Vegas and Sin City, having a great time. But I just wanted to share this message on loneliness because so few people talk about it and it's such a problem. And I'm working my best to build community because I think it is that important to connect with other human beings, especially when they're good people, when they're saints. Folks, let us end this the way we always end this, with the creed of the assassin. Repeat after me. I am going to be who I truly am because I am remarkable. And I will strive every moment to show the greatest part of who I am. Until next time.